Hello everybody. I figure I would take you through the process of creating a character for the tabletop role-playing game Tunnels and Trolls. So let's go ahead and do that. From my right here I have the book to help me out, help walk us through it. On the left here we have a character sheet. The very character sheet that comes with this book. So the first thing I need to do is actually roll some stats. We have strength, constitution, dex, etc. So strength, constitution, dex, speed, luck, IQ, whiz, and charisma. So in order to determine what these stats are, what we have to do is roll three dice and add them up and then put them in the appropriate spot. So here we are. So let's roll this and figure it out. So the first thing we have is strength. Okay, now this is interesting. I just rolled an 18. No trick photography. Now what I'm going to do is Tunnels and Trolls allows you to keep rolling if you roll triples when rolling on a stat. But we'll get to that a little later on. The, te uh, the, the book actually tells you to put a little star beside it first. And then continue finishing with the rest of your stats. So let's roll for our constitution, which is our health of our character. So we have seven. Dexterity. Thirteen for dexterity. Speed. Eleven, twelve, thirteen for speed. Luck. We have fifteen for luck. IQ, intelligence of our character. We have a an eleven. Wiz, wizardry points. These points are used for casting spells. Um, when you cast spells in tunnels and trolls, each spell has a certain number of wizardry points it costs. So nine. 10, 11. And then charisma, which is how alluring we are. Let's see here, 12. 15 for charisma. All right. So for my 18 strength, I still need to go ahead and keep rolling for this stat. So I rolled 18 plus, now if I roll triples again, I get to add that to this and keep rolling again. So I'm like a superhuman character here, a super character. All right, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 18 plus 13, 31. So I have a 31 strength. It looks like I might be a fighter. My stats are pretty good though. I'm not super healthy. Constitution of seven, but all in all looking pretty good. So now let's determine what we want to be. Okay. So I've decided I'm going to be a fighter or a warrior. Same thing. So <clears throat> what we do is up here, we take our character type and we write warrior. I've decided to be a male. There's actually a chart inside the book. We're doing height and weight, which we'll get to momentarily. I'll just take care of the stuff that I get to choose myself here. So hair, I'll make my hair black. Money, we'll also roll for that in a while. Age, <clears throat> well, let's say I'm uh, 22. A kindred, I am human. Now, if I would have chosen to be anything else besides human. There is actually adjustments to the stats. So, um, for example, if I can find you on here. Do, do, do. Let me find it. So if I was to be a dwarf, for example, it tells you here what you would, the multiplier would be for the um, aligned attribute. So, for example, I rolled a 31 for my strength. Now, if I wanted to be, for example, a dwarf, I would times that by two. Con times by two. Dex would remain just the one roll times by one. Uh, luck is 0.75, so you multiply it by 0.75 to determine what your luck would be, so it would be lower than 15. 
Now for my height and weight, we come to the chart here. Let me roll. My height is 14, which is six foot two. So, put that down over here. 6'2". My weight, you know, let's have a little fun. Let's actually roll for my weight as well. It is 12, 13, 14. So my weight is 190 to 230 pounds. Eh, I'm 200 pounds. I will take 220 pounds. 220 pounds. Now for money, what you do for money is you go ahead and you roll 3d6s times 10. So 10, 11, 110 dollars. 110 fantasy bucks, 110 gold. So 110. That will allow us now to move on to purchasing equipment. But what we'll do first is get my level here. So I am actually, my character level is level three. So even though this is a brand new character, what happens in Tunnels and Trolls is that to determine your level, you pick, you get you a, Get your highest stat, in my case, 31, strength. You divide it by 10, rounding down. So I am actually level three. I actually start out being level three. Also, actually, I forgot to mention my, uh, my carrying capacity, my weight possible that I can carry. The max amount of weight I can carry is determined by your strength times 10. So my strength is 31 times 10, 310. Okay, I picked myself a talent now too. Here's a bunch of talents the book provides you. Um, now, the game actually also encourages you to create your own talents if you want. But uh, I went ahead and actually did pick one from the book and I picked uh, sailing. So and what I also did is I purchased a weapon. I got myself a broadsword. And then I also got myself some light armor. Now the sword I purchased was a broadsword, which can be located right here. And you'll notice here in Tunnels and Trolls that with strength and dexterity, you need to have, you need to meet the minimum requirements. So in this case, I have a 31 strength, so I blew that away. And dexterity, I have a 13, so I'm also good there. So I would get no penalties or anything in using that weapon, but I can carry it with ease. Armor, I got myself some light leather. And you can see from here that it would give me an armor class of three, so three hits, armor class of Dungeons and Dragons, sorry. But I would acquire a three strength to be able to use this armor, so no problem. And uh, it would do no negatives to my decks. You can see over here that some of the larger armors, like your plate and whatnot, they actually penalize your dexterity. So in this case you bought a plate, you have to subtract three from your dexterity. But I went ahead and I bought light leather. And because well also I uh yeah I'm showing cash. Between my broadsword and my armor I spent my hundred and thirty bucks. I'm broke. Now we are going to determine my combat ads, the combat ads for this character here. Uh, now if you look here, it says your character receives a bonus of one point for each of the following attributes over 12. So with strength, luck, dex, and speed. So if we look here, my strength is 31. That is well over 12. It's over 12 by 19. So 19 plus, let's look at luck, three higher, 22. Dexterity, 23, one over, one over 24. So my personal combat adds is 24. 
which is actually a lot. But that has everything to do with this ridiculous amount of strength I have. Okay, prime attributes have enrolled, determined, weapon purchased, armor purchased, talent has been chosen, a lot of money, money used to spend on buying the weapons and armor, height determined, gender, weight, age, hair color, or character type warrior, kindred, human, and level three. So meet Crompton the Crusher. Pray for fame and fortune. Well, thanks everyone for joining. That is concludes making a character in Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls.